Well, a Hood River author wanted to weave her love for shelter pets into her latest novel and give back at the same time. Now, we were there as novelist Nan Fisher met with her charity of choice. That's in tonight's Positive Vibes. Are you going to fall asleep? This is author Nan Fisher's first time visiting the Pixie Project as a longtime fan of the Portland Animal Shelter. I love being here and I want to take every animal home with me. Nan just released her latest novel, The Book of Silver Linings, which involves a love story, some mystery, and an animal shelter at risk of losing its facility. It's really important to me to write this story because Rescuing animals is, is something that's really close to my heart and I wanted to kind of showcase the work that um, volunteers do in animal shelters and show people how important it is to be a silver lining in an animal's life. Nan is donating a percentage of the book's sales for the first month to Pixie Project. It comes at a time when the Pixie Project desperately needs help with too many animals, many born during the pandemic. Sadly, that also created uh, a demand and that was filled by supply with a lot of breeding, a lot of irresponsible breeding, and it went up about 1,200%. The Pixie Project relies solely on donations like those from Nan. Nan appreciates the work the Pixie Project does to make sure an animal is a good match for a family. And Pixie Project founder Amy Sachs is hoping Nan's creativity inspires others. Other people see this and they think, oh, I'm writing a cookbook, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And like, I could think of a way to incorporate that and incorporate rescues. I could just look at the kittens all yeah. day. Yeah, if you want to order Nan's book or check out more about the Pixie Project, we have links to both on coin.com. Great people at the Pixie Project. Oh, yeah. I've taken some Wednesday's children there, mm -hmm. you know, and we will go into the cat room and the kids just light up. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm sure. Hey, let's